Hey team, welcome back to Amber Oaks Ranch. I've uh, been experiencing some low power on my John Deere 5320 tractor. Um, I actually replaced the turbocharger maybe six months ago and that didn't seem to help. I think I have a video of that. Um, there was a little bit of erosion on the, on the impeller blades, but nothing substantial. Um, I decided to check the valve clearance and I've gone and removed the valve cover. You can see the rocker arm assembly there, valve springs, valve stem, push rod arrangement. This is a three cylinder turbocharged engine. Um, so I've noticed that the, uh, well, I've got as far as <clears throat> uh, one set of, uh, you know, check and clearance on one stroke and the exhaust on the number three is, is excessive, the clearance and, and I'm, I imagine the others are, are as well. So I thought I'd do a video on this. Uh, the first order of business is to, on the other side, there is a cap that sits on that hole right there. And uh, the top hole allows for some type of like faux starter motor to go in there, get the flywheel teeth and turn the motor until it's aligned. Uh, I just used the starter to do that. You see, I have a punch in the bottom hole. Uh, that punch, there's a hole in the flywheel that uh, lines up top dead center. To find that hole, uh, you just rotate the engine until uh, you can get a punch uh, to engage the hole. Uh, so that's what I've done there. So I'm gonna try to make some adjustments on the valves that are at um, fully closed right now. And I'll come back and we'll rotate it 360 degrees, make the other adjustments and give it a try. All right, to uh, adjust the number three piston back here, I'm sorry, cylinder, you can see the uh, intake on the right and the exhaust on the left. This uh, fuse link here sits in that hole. Uh, so I had to take that off uh, to gain access to it. So just a little FYI, so you're prepared for that. There's a bolt um, right in that hole a uh, 19 millimeter bolt that's got to come out and then this thing lifts up you just pry it out of there and then it, get it out of the way uh, sure it'll be fun to get it back in there we'll see how that goes all right this is a pretty simple procedure here this uh, got three valves one two and three back there uh, intake exhaust intake exhaust etc uh, one two and three Right now I've got the uh, intake valve of the number two piston open and the exhaust valve of the number two, I'm sorry, closed, uh, and the exhaust valve of the number two, three. The exhaust valve of the number three, uh, completely closed. Uh, this was quite a bit off. Um, I was able to get a feeler gauge in there, uh, 0.55 millimeters on the intake of the number two. Uh, it's supposed to be 0.33 millimeters. Uh, the way to adjust this, get a half inch wrench on here and uh, clockwise looking down on it will close the gap. So rotating this way uh, closes it up. It doesn't take a, a whole lot of turns to make a major adjustment there. Um, again, it's supposed to be a 0.35 millimeters on the intake 0.45 millimeters on the exhaust so i'm going to go through and adjust the, the two that are fully closed now and uh, rotate the engine 360 degrees and that'll enable me to get uh, the other valves so uh, pretty simple um, oddly enough this is a half inch wrench to get these uh, but to get off the valve cover itself required an 11 millimeter uh, wrench socket so I hope this helps you out. Um, standard valve clearance, uh, a valve lash adjustment. You can see lots of videos on YouTube on why this is important, etc. cetera. Uh, but this is what you're looking at on the 5320 Deer. And just to say again, um, cylinder one, two, and three, intake, exhaust, intake adjustment, Intake adjustment should be at 0.35 millimeters. Exhaust adjustment, 0.45 millimeters. All right, thanks for following along. Hope that helps you out.
Okay, we've got the valve cover back on. Um, I had to make a lot of adjustments. Uh, I don't know what the impact is yet. Hopefully that solved my problem. We'll button it back up and hopefully everything will be good to go. Uh, I guess you'll notice here too, if uh, I have an auxiliary fuel pump on there, uh, that uh, I think that's another story for another time, but uh, yours may not have that. You should put one on if it doesn't. And thank you very much for following along. Appreciate you coming out to Amber Oaks Ranch.